This presentation highlights Paymetrics Direct AR Receivables Management Solution, which allows for the posting of payments directly in a customer's AR account in the financial module with a credit card payment. It allows you to post a credit directly into their account by charging a card for whatever amount you specify. That open credit is not associated with any existing AR document. Rather, it can be used to apply payment to future documents that are posted on payment terms. Paymetrics Direct AR Utility is accessed from the PCMA main menu, or Payment Card Management and Analytics main menu. It's listed under the Receivables Management section. We'll go ahead and execute it directly from here. And in the selection screen, you'll notice that we've entered in a customer's number, and the address is defaulted from that customer's master record. If I were to change that customer number, you'll notice the details of the address change because they, again, are being pulled from the customer's master record. The Direct AR program is not run by executing. Rather, we're going to switch over into this Payment Card Info tab where we can specify exactly the amount we wish to process on that customer's card. You'll notice radio buttons that indicate whether or not we will be posting a debit or charge to their card, which will result in a credit in their SAP AR account. Or conversely, we could post that as a credit to their card, resulting in a debit open item on their AR account. We're going to go ahead and post a debit to their card, charge their card, in this case for $250 and that will result in a $250 open credit on their account. The card number you see listed here has been pulled from the customer master record. If I do the pull down you'll notice all the cards available on that customer's account and the master card that ends in 4442 is the default or preferred card for that customer and that's why it's auto populated onto the screen. We can choose a different card or simply enter a completely different card if we wish. One last thing I'll do is enter the security code off the back of this MasterCard, 123. And when I hit enter on the keyboard, you'll notice that this checkbox has been changed so that it is no longer checked. At this point, we've entered the details we need in order to perform an authorization. Again, we don't hit the Execute button. We simply click on this Authorize Online button. And you'll notice that the same details or messages you would see from a sales order indicating that an authorization is being carried out and a response has been received are shown. And then the results are shown in this pop-up box. So the card was approved. Here are the authorization details and response texts and codes. And when I hit enter, you'll notice that we're going to call a standard SAP transaction, FB05, to post a payment directly into the customer's AR account and a, a document will be posted. So you can see the document number listed in the message bar at the bottom and also here in the result report. So we posted a $250 payment for this customer. Here's the document that was created. Again, we're not clearing any existing open items. We're simply posting, in this case, a credit into the customer's AR account directly. Here are some of the authorization response details and the card number, etc. When we drill into this document, again, you'll notice that we are staging this, as we do with our other AR utilities, into the Visa MasterCard receivable account so that it will be picked up by the nightly settlement run and it results in a $250 open credit on that customer's account. This would then typically be used to apply to future debit uh, items that are posted to that customer's account. So a very common scenario for Direct AR would be to take a down payment for a new customer with which you do not have an established credit limit. You want to have funds on file before you allow them to start ordering from you. So maybe you take a $500 down payment, apply that as an open credit to their account, and let them start placing orders, and then you would draw against that credit as orders are created. If we back up and take a look at some of the other options on the selection screen, you'll notice, uh, again, let's go in and put in a, a dollar amount here. We, uh, we need to enter that dollar amount before we can continue. Now we do have the option, rather than doing a um, synchronous real-time authorization, we could just enter in the details that we've received over the phone 
and post that as a manual authorization. The end result would be the same as we saw just a moment ago. It would result in an open credit on the customer's account. And we do have some document posting options that we can change here as well. Four text fields that can be entered. We default three of them. You can change all of them if you wish. We do allow you to specify the clearing document type which should be posted. You can change the document date and posting date and posting keys. A BDC run mode which would allow you to view the items in the BDC for transaction FB05 as the document is being posted. You can see all screens, just display the errors. The default is you see none of the screens. You do have a couple of pop-up boxes that can be displayed, so if you receive a decline response, there will be a pop-up box that would let you enter a manual response code, so perhaps the initial response is a decline and you're requested to call the bank to receive a manual approval. That would allow you to do so. And secondly, if you want to allow a reauthorization attempt if the initial response is a communication failure, there will be a pop-up for that as well. Finally, on the miscellaneous options tab, you can show that result report or not. And typically with Direct AR, it's always shown when you're exiting the program. Exiting and after each authorization run are essentially the same. There are limits to the amounts that can be processed, and those are in, uh, those are in place because of limitations on the processor side. And then finally, the link here into the SAP IMG configuration for payment card processing. This is where the link is made in order to effectuate the GL account determination procedure so that we can determine which credit card receivable GL account should be posted to when that document for payment is posted to the customer's AR account.